Okay, now let me please, let me introduce how to use this multi hardware. Now you can see when you uh when you plug the electricity and this is the first screen you can see. And on the first step we need to do is to uh, press this zero. This zero is means to make sure the wire will um, work and make sure the hopper has nothing in the hopper. And and the second step, uh, because this is the first time we, after we install the wire, then we need to do the calib calibration. And you need to press the calibration. And the password is one, 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 one. One, 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 two, three, four, five, six, six, one, okay, and then enter. Another calibration is to test the wire, and and this is the number, it shows you how much weight in the hooper, and this is the wire. Here can change one to ten. We need to uh, test one hooper to ten hooper one by one and before that before we put the before we put the wire uh, to the to the hooper and we need to press the zero after we press zero and then we put that one kg weight in the hooper this is the one kg one kg wire and we need to put this on the uh, our multi head wire and to number one hooper. And then after we put this uh, on the wire, and then we need to we need to uh, press this full to make sure. Now, now here is the multi head wire. This is the first hooper, and this is the wire. And we put this. Uh, we need to find this is number one wire, and then we put this one in here, and then we go down to press the full from the screen. And then once we put the one kg in the hooper, and then we press full. Now it shows you. Now can shows you it's about 1000 G, so it's 1 kg, and then you need to test the uh, number two. And number two is saying put press zero and then put the thing in the uh, wire hooper and then oh, then press the full one by one. And the second step we need to do is to set, uh, after we test this calibration and then we need to uh, uh, set the number is the parameter. The password is also one 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 six one twenty. And then this in this page we only need to change several uh, numbers. This is target number and this is up limit, low limit, and speed and main reverberation. And this is the number that we can change. Target because this is first time we use this wire, we need to test the wire. So actually, if you want to wait 1,000 G uh, product, actually you can put, uh, you can test, you can test like 80 gram. Put 80 gram and the up limited is 0 0.5. Because the target weight is not much, only 80 grams, so the up limited and low limited is about the accuracy. 
so you can change the accuracy uh, more change the accuracy uh, improve the accuracy and uh, if you target is 1000 G and then you can uh, put uh, normally we put 1 G to the up limited and 1 G to the low limited when we test it we only put like uh, this number and speed speed when you set the speed actually uh, it is the highest speed you put, and then, um, but this speed actually uh, need to uh, based on the basic packer machine, see how fast the packer can pack. And uh, the main vibration is uh, means the uh, multi head wear the top uh, vibration. This normally is for 45 to or 50 vibration. It depends on what product you need. If you need to pack the product is very heavy and hard to do the vibration, and then you need to uh, raise the number to 60 or 70. If you need to pack the product, it's, um, it's easy to uh, move in like beans or rice, then you can keep the mean vibrating uh, not too high, uh, 45 to 50 is enough. And this is the number that we need to set. And and this number and this number, we don't need to change. We don't need to change. And and we need to keep this DIS delay number uh, 0 0.01 second. This is the number that we need to uh, pay a little bit attention that need to set normally set this number and others uh, uh, to here to here here we don't need to change and the massive feed level means on the top of the wire that we have a hooper can keep the product and uh, like the things we need to pack in the hooper actually we need, need to keep about two 2 kg and uh, uh, this is actually connected to the Z type elevator uh, if the maximum feed level full about 2 kg there pro, uh, 2 kg product on the wire and then the Z type elevator will stop to feeding the product uh, the mean the minimum feed level means how much it has on the top of the vibration hooper and then uh, if only have a uh, 0.8 kg product there and then the Z type elevator will start to feeding the product into the wire and feed level weight means shows you how much on the wire uh, of the of that uh, material hooper it shows you how much there and others number you don't need to change and next and this number also don't need to change it keep it and then this is the um, parameter uh, that we need to set and and manual test we don't need to test this one and static uh, statistic statistic is shows you after you one day product that can shows you the number how many bags you uh, is qualified, how many is unqualified and pass rate that you can see. And uh, this is system set. System set, system set, and the password is two, 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 also six, two, and enter. And then you can see this. Here is a language that you can change. I have Chinese, English. Uh, Russian and Arabic, French, and the date and time also can change. And password, please don't change the password. Keep the password. And the other things you don't need to change. This thing also don't need to change. Um, you don't need to change. And then this is the system setting. And then uh, go back. And after we set everything, then we can run. And before we run then we can run. 
Just now we said the target uh, target weight is 80 and limited up limited or low limited said this and then here we'll show you and this is the mean uh, the speed we said is 52 and uh, it's uh, normally uh, depends on the uh, yeah, the main base of uh, the basic packer and the mean variation that we said is 50 if packing uh, for some easy product which can uh, fall down from the uh, from the wire easily, then we can keep this from 45 to 50. Mean vibration uh, a little bit higher than this number. This is the LVF uh, vibration. So this vibration a little bit higher than this number, then it's okay. And then uh, after set's ready, and then we can press start. Then we will test. And if you test finish, and then you can go uh, test the no problem, and then you can uh, re return, and then to set uh, to set your target number to to set the target number to 1,000 G. And then this up limited to one. And then set and then return. And then start to run. And then you can see the number is changed. And then you press start, then it will start to work. And go back. Here we can see empty clean stop. Empty means when you press empty, it means only when you need to pack another product, you need to or uh, in it to clean all the products on the wire to clean all the products then you press the empty the wire will op open all the hoopers to let all the uh, products fall down uh, uh, and goes into the basic packer and then you can clean all the products and uh, clean means uh, when you need to clean the wire you press clean all the hooper door will open and then clean time also has a clean time. It's in this system set that we need to and then we need to set this clean time a little bit longer if you don't need to uh, if you need to clean a little bit longer then you can change this time uh, if uh, because the door only open 10 minutes if you don't don't change if you need to change like 30 minutes to clean a long time then you change the time you can change and stop means uh, press stop and everything will stop and that is the multi hardware operation uh, system hope it can help you understand the multi hardware thank you for your attention thank you